The ministry spokesperson, Romyom Yunda, said the officials were alerted by the community of a carcass that was discovered on Sunday. He said an official inspection established that the hippo was shot and killed on Saturday. The control warden for Wildlife and Protection Services, Morgan Saisai, warned community members that poaching of wildlife would obstruct rural development, urging them to report any suspicious and illegal activities in the area to the ministry. So after the termini that, we engaged the community uh, to explain to them this situation, the consequences and the impact on the community it has. It is reported that some of the community members' crops had been destroyed by the said hippo, causing them losses before they could even begin harvesting. Charles Masiku, the secretary in the Miyako Sabkuta, said, although they teach the community of the importance of the conservancy and the economical contribution wildlife brings to the area, many would be tempted to shoot them in response to the rampaging of fields. Another reason, he said, could be the ministry's low compensation to those affected by wildlife. And another thing is that of this pond, as you can see, it's between us and Botswana. We can't tell for sure because these wild animals roam around wherever they want. We can't tell if this animal was shot here in Namibia or in Botswana. We really can't tell. Simasiku said the traditional authority is ready to assist the ministry in finding the culprits. The meat was distributed to the community members, including those from Kirisan. Muyunda explained that the San community benefited from the meat because 90% of them are unemployed. I'm very much happy and I say thanks for them to brief us meat. We're never having it. Now today maybe we are going to some of us or some of other people who are living in this village, they don't have relish. Either like they don't have even mess meal, but at least they will eat the meat and sleep today. And tomorrow maybe it can take them even three days to use that meat. So I will be just appreciating for for them. The Kirasan community headman, Jim Ben, thanked the ministry for having given them some of the meat adding that their living circumstances at times leaves them with no meals. We were not expecting this, but by the grace of God, we have been included and benefited. We would also be very grateful if in the future we continue to be included, if it were possible.